what's up you guys? Welcome to my 31 days of Halloween. For those of you that don't know what that is, I'm going to be doing a new Halloween tutorial every single day in October. So today's look, I wanted to go pretty classic with this typical werewolf Halloween costume. If you want to learn how I put all of this together, just keep on watching. Alright, now this tutorial is going to be using a foam latex prosthetic that I bought online. So first step, we need to pop in some contacts and then use any type of adhesive to put on this prosthetic. So the prosthetic here, as you can see, I'm putting it on piece by piece, first on the nose, and then I will be putting more prosade on my chin and my forehead and my cheeks to make it all stick together. If you are thinking of using a foam latex product just like the one I am using here, I highly recommend it. It takes out a lot of the time from making your own prosthetic and it's super easy to use. As you can tell, I've already put on the face and now it's just a matter of coloring it in. So what I'm using for paint is a grease paint activated with 99% alcohol. This gets to dilute the color just in case it does get too intense. So I go over with a base brown coat all over the face and then I will be using a darker brown and a lighter brown to put in the shadows and the highlights. So check it out. Here you can see that I am using the darker brown colors to color in the creases and the edges to add some shadows and dimension. Here on the forehead lines, on the side of the nose, the nasal labial folds, all of these have to be darker than the actual face. And right here I'm going in with a lighter brown as a highlight tone to put on my cheekbones and all of the protruding areas on my face to make them stand out with highlight. And now it's just a matter of layering on your colors. I'm going back with the darker brown to put in shadows on my eyebrow bone and then I'll be going in with some highlights as well to make sure that everything is going to balance out. It's also very critical to add in some type of flesh tone color so you're not just one base brown color. I'm putting in some coral and some red in the eyes to make sure that there is some sort of flavor in my face, if you know what I mean. Oh, and don't forget your ears and the rest of your face. <laughs> we are putting on a prosthetic on top of our ears, so don't worry too much about this, but you do need to color the rest of your head as well. For this look, I am not going to be putting on a bald cap, so I have to make the rest of my hair blend in with the crepe wool and the yak hair that I'm going to be gluing onto my face. So I spray my hair black and then paint my head brown to make everything blend together. For the crepe wool, it is a matter of laying it down like shingles. You need to go from the back forward so that way it doesn't look patchy. The most important thing that I could tell you right here is to make sure that you cover your actual hairline in Vaseline because if you put any type of adhesive on it, it is going to rip out your hair unless you cover it. <laughs> so please play safe. There are three colors that I am using of crepe wool for this look. I'm just using this blonde right here in the front of it to give myself some sort of character and personality, but the rest of it is going to be this gray and brown type of crepe wool. The ears that I am using are also a foam latex prosthetic piece. They are very easy to use, and I'll put both of the prosthetic pieces down in the description box if you want to purchase them. All right, now we just gotta continue putting on our hair. <laughs> so I'm starting with my beard. I'm starting just on the edge of my jawline and then moving forward closer to my actual cheeks and my mouth here. As you move forward, make sure that you use less and less hair as if it was growing sparingly closer to your face. Then paint the rest of your body brown if it is going to be exposed. And we will also be putting on some chest hair and some hair on our hands later on. But before we do that, let's give this mane some volume. Like I said, I'm not going to be using a bald cap for this look, so I'm just going to be putting the crepe wool behind my head to give this some sort of heightening, furry, werewolf look, I guess. 
Y'all get the gist. Just look at it. It looks better, right? Okay, cool. Carrying on. Back to the chest hair. Something that I'm never going to be familiar with. We will be layering on the gray and then the blonde and right in front I'm putting some of that brown hair as well and just kind of combing through it to make sure that they all blend together. I'm also putting some hair on my hands and spraying it black just to make all of the colors blend together as well. If you are going to be using your hands a lot during Halloween, just avoid your fingers and resort to just paint on your fingertips. And of course, this look would not be complete without some blood. So put this wherever you want. It's kind of free game. I'm putting it on my shirt, on my chest, on my lip, and right there on my chinny chin chin. Oh yeah, and I guess one more thing. <laughs> we gotta put in those teeth. So these teeth have general instructions that come on the back of them. You just create a mold and they form to your actual teeth. And I'm putting on some tooth decay. This is in the color nicotine to make sure our teeth look rotted and gross so you're not just, you know, pearly white. <laughs> and that's it, you guys. You are now this classic Halloween werewolf. Go out and howl at the moon or do whatever werewolves do, I guess. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. All right, <laughs> this is the final werewolf haunted Halloween costume Complete with some sexy chest hair if you ask me if you like this give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below Because I'm coming out with a new makeup tutorial every single day in October. You're not gonna want to miss it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye